Nuremberg is a very special place with wonderful Gothic gems and medieval wonders which occupy the old town beneath the mighty Kaiserberg. There are Gothic churches here, monumental architecture such as the old city hall. Some splendid houses and romantic corners in historic homes. The city was important to the observations of early astronomers too. In 1515, the artist Albrecht Dürer, who was born in Nuremberg, mapped the stars of the northern and southern hemisphere, producing the first printed star charts. The guilds of the Meistersingers flourished here. Richard Wagner made their most famous member, Hans Sachs, the hero of his opera, Die Meistersinger von Nuremberg. The Nuremberg State Theatre was founded in 1906. It's the home of the Philharmonic Orchestra and is dedicated to all types of opera, ballet and drama. While the Nuremberg Symphony Orchestra performs around 100 concerts a year to a combined annual audience of more than 180,000. So we go from Nuremberg and all the delights there down to Linz in Upper Austria. Thank <laughs> you. 
Linz, of course it's heavily associated with Anton Bruckner, but it also has very interesting Mozart connections. There's also the Old Town Hall dating from the 7th century. The State Museum here has many important collections including paintings, folk art and some Roman craft works. That's Trinity Column in the center, that's the main square. Over here you have the castle, the former fortress. This is where the city originally started from. Then we had a little, little small, tiny medieval city. And then in the 13th century, the city was enlarged. The old city walls, which were located around here, were demolished. And then the huge main square was constructed and the city walls were put up over here. I think you can see where the former moat was and a little bit of the city walls, this up here and a little bit left. So this was Linz until 200 years ago. We had a city gate over here. By 1894, composer Anton Bruckner was so popular that he was granted freedom of the city. From 1824 until 1896, and in the back, the organ pipes. He was just a wonderful, wonderful organ player. In 1490, Habsburg Emperor Friedrich III made Linz a provincial capital and extended the castle to set up residence there. Between 1612 and 1626, the famous astronomer Johannes Kepler lived in Linz, with the city later honouring him by giving his name to the University of Linz. Next along were Napoleon and his army, who between 1800 and 1809 had conquered the city. Yeah, and up there on the first floor we had Johannes Kepler as a teacher for 14 years. And then it was the time of council information and Kepler said, who was from here? On their way back to Vienna, Wolfgang and Constanze stopped off in Linz, where despite intending only a short visit, they stayed for three weeks as guest of longtime Mozart family friend Count Thun, whose daughter-in-law was also one of Mozart's Viennese piano pupils. Of the music he composed in Linz and the hospitality he enjoyed there, he wrote to his father with some excitement on October 31st, saying, When we arrived at the gates of Linz, a servant was standing there to conduct us to the old Count Tunes, where we are still living. I really cannot tell you how they overwhelm us with kindness in this house. On Thursday the 4th of November, I'm going to give a concert in the theatre, and as I have not a single symphony by me, I am writing away over head and ears at a new one, which must be ready by then. The symphony in C major was composed for that occasion, written in an apartment here, apparently in the incredibly brief period of four days, and performed at the Wasser Theater on the 4th of November, 1783. If I press this little button here, you will hear, you will hear the first few tones of the Linz symphony. It's a very short, short pleasure. 
Known as the Linzer Symphony in C major, it is clearly Mozart's finest work in this form up to that time. The mellowness, a term often used by Joseph Haydn, the self-confidence and all-round maturity of this music, not only belie the haste in which it was created, but reflect the therapeutic effect of the elegant hospitality and cheerful surroundings the Mozart's found in Linz following the dispiriting sojourn in Salzburg. The slow introduction to the first movement represents Mozart's first use of such a format in his symphonies. The music of the second movement is in 6 8th time and in the nature of a Siciliana. Trumpets and drums, often silent and slow movements, are used effectively in both the outer parts and the vigorous contrasting middle section of this one. The sturdy minuet is an eminently danceable specimen and has been interpolated as such in some productions of both Don Giovanni and The Marriage of Figaro. In the finale, as in the first movement, one might gather from both the general outline and the themes themselves that Mozart was writing in conscious homage to Haydn. When the first Jesuits came to Linz around 1600, they didn't realize that the Jesuit church, which would be finished three quarters of a century later, would serve as a cathedral for 147 years under the guidance of seven bishops. The true grandeur of this monumental building by the Italian architect Pietro Francesco Carloni can best be appreciated from a distance from the main square. Anton Bruckner played his first performance of his D minor mass in the Jesuit church and served 12 years as cathedral organist. When the population of Linz grew in the 19th century, the so-called Old Cathedral seemed much too small to its current bishop. So the Neo-Gothic New Dom was commissioned. But the construction lasted for decades, and it was not until 1909 that the last evening vespers were read in the Jesuit church. It was then returned to the original order. However, the present Cathedral of Linz is such a perfect interpretation of the Gothic building style that it requires a highly critical eye to see its late origins. In respect to its dimensions, the Cathedral master builder, Vincent Staats, kept to all the rules of thumb observed by his medieval ancestors. Especially the rule which holds that a Gothic Cathedral should be the same length as the height of its tower. When the cornerstone for the new church was laid in 1862, Linz had a population of 27,000 inhabitants, and that was just 7,000 more than the capacity of the intended building. Linz only just missed having the highest church tower in Austria owing to protests from Vienna, which prescribed that the height should be just slightly less than that of St. Stephen's. In recent times, the Cathedral of Linz has gained yet another distinction. The organ, built by the Danish organ makers Markusen, it was consecrated in 1968 and numbers among the largest, most beautiful and perfectly balanced organs in Europe. Okay, the taste test. So, how do you feel about the Linz at Tort? Yes, Diane? Beautiful. Beautiful, Julie? Very nice, yeah. yes. We all approve, obviously. 